uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so let uh, try to solve this uh, interview question so this is a design kind of problem okay like you can you cannot see any circuit okay given here so the problem statement is so this is your problem statement so you have to design a circuit that can uh, add two voltages uh, exactly as v out equals v1 plus v2 okay so basically you have two signal v1 and v2 and you have to add these two okay and exactly it will be v1 plus v2 so how you go for the solution so first of all uh, you can do some resistive things okay to add these two things right to circuit at two two uh, signals so you know we have let's say two resistance like this and we have let's say v1 here and v2 here so do you know how to find this v1 plus v2 like this node vx so you can do any superposition theorem right to find your vx so what will be your vx so vx if you do the superposition it will be uh, v2 times uh, r1 plus v1 times r2 over r1 plus r2 so now if you make some combination of r1 and r2 so let's say let's say for easy case v r1 equals r2 equals r okay so you will find the average of these two right so v1 plus v2 by 2 right but it is not exactly equals uh like v1 plus v2 right so you need to again uh you need to again uh multiply using gain 2 right using a gain 2 so that you will get exactly uh, v1 plus v2 right so let's say so i'm okay so i am solving as much okay let, let's say i will be solving using two two methods okay like I, I will be solving for two circuit okay so let's say you have two input and making this r1 equals r2 so it will be this one and there is your v1 signal a voltage source and this is your v2 voltage source okay and let's say assuming small signals okay so this will be v2 and let's say this will be v1 and this output is the average of these two right so your vx will be v1 plus v2 by 2 okay now we, you we need a gain of 2 okay we need a positive gain of 2 so that we can get exactly v1 plus v2 so what we can do so we can make a op amp with gain 2 right so so we have to do so so this is the plus gain right so we have to use non inverting configuration right if you do inverting configuration so it, there will be a negative sign but we don't need that right so you have to use a non inverting amplifier okay so eventually this needs to be a gain 2 that's it that that's the point okay so gain of 2 so now you will get v out as v on plus v2 okay but actually uh, so what we can do so we have to implement this uh, circuit as well so for that i can do the following okay because in general the open loop uh, gain of a op amp is very very high infinity so actually we will not get v1 plus v2 okay so it will be infinity so we have to make some uh, closed loop system so that the gain becomes 2 okay so again i am doing the following so i will be sharing another approach as well okay so so v1 this is v2 and you have a so now you if for a uh, inverting a non-inverting amplifier non-inverting op amp it will be looking like this rf and this will be r1 right and assuming this op amp is actually ideal so the uh, open loop gain of this op amp is infinite okay so this is your v out now you know from here to here what is the uh, expression so you know from here to here so v out so let's say this is vx so v out over vx is nothing but 1 plus rf over r1 so now if rf becomes r1 let's say some some r okay some r okay so we are making every r is same okay so it becomes 2 right so this from here to here actually the gains becomes 2 right so now you can ultimately so your vx was v1 plus v2 by 2 now 
it is multiplied with this gain right here to here so it becomes v on plus v. okay so this is on solution you can find any solution okay but this is one of them okay so now what is your final circuit so your rf like every resistance becomes same okay and this is ideal op amp of gain infinity and uh, this is your v out so now we can make a black box like this that have a v1 as input v2 as input and you have this black box and you have a v output as v1 plus v2 so now this black box so if i mark it so this is your black box okay this is your black box you have this terminal uh, okay so this is wrong actually so this should be the thing okay so this is your black box black box okay this is two inputs and one outputs so i can see there is four resistance is used and a op amp is used okay so the total component for same resistance same valued resistance and on op amp on ideal op amp ideal op amp now can we make any other things uh let's say you you don't have like uh, you have to okay so actually this is a very good design actually uh now yeah, like if i if we can think any other approaches okay so let's do for the op amp basics okay so you know op amp is a very good uh block that can do any mathematical operation like many mathematical operations right so we know the op amp adder right so op amp adder circuit we all know adder circuit so how we can make op amp adder circuit so op amp adder let's say we are using inverting kind of things okay so it will be grounded so let's say this is v1 and you have a rf and again you have a v2 input and you have connected like this you are connecting like this so this is a well known adder circuit right but what is the output expression for it so let's say uh, every okay so let's say this is r1 this is r2 so you know what will be the output so you can do the superposition things okay so you will be getting how much so i am not solving uh, every point of the things but this is a well known adder circuit okay so if you solve it you will be getting v out as minus uh, rf into v1 over r1 plus v2 over r2 okay so this is actually addition of these two signal but there is some component uh, connected uh, like in in a, in a some multiplication factor okay so what we can do now so let's assume r1 equals r2 equals rf equals some r okay so how will be your v out now so your v out will be so you can take common of this so it will be minus v1 plus v2 right so now we are almost there but there is only a negative sign so how do we can do so we can add some block here that has a gain of minus 1 right so if we multiply after with minus 1 so the output from here will be how much it will be v1 plus v2 so now now how can we make this so let's do it so this is the oil loan error circuit we have so this will be r this will be r this will be r this is v1 this is v2 this is plus and this is ground now how i can make a gain of one but ideally in the open loop the gain of the op amp is actually infinite so we need to make some closed loop system so that the gain becomes minus one so you know a well designed minus one gain is a no inverting amplifier right inverting amplifier using op amp so what is the inverting amplifier so if you put here and you know how to solve it okay so this is a well known inverting amplifier with gain on right so if your this rf becomes r and let's say this r1 becomes same r so it will be from here to here the gain is actually minus 1 right you can solve it okay because this is actually ideal op amp so this voltage is become this voltage due to virtual short so you can find 
uh, well known minus rf over r1 it is your gain so from v out v into v out okay so now you, you have to just add this block after the first block okay so this is the second block so what we can do so you need a another block of minus of gain one okay so now you have to do this thing so now in this case we have two op amp let's say two identical op amp of ideal op amp and you need one two three four five resistance okay so you need five register and two op amp so now uh, the interviewer can ask you uh, which one you will prefer okay so this is up to you you can answer accordingly what you are thinking so which block is actually good for you okay and and the, the, the interviewer asks you some uh, with some parameters with respect to something let's say area power cost and any any other parameter okay so yes so this is the thing so this is your final v out that will give you exactly v1 plus v2 okay so this is to add our circuit okay and these two are ideal so gain will be infinity okay from this so this is two identical uh, op amp okay so i think this is pretty much okay with the answer we can uh, go with the solution uh, using this method okay so there can be any other circuit as well v1 plus v2 as output but i am showing only two of them okay thank you